Good morning, sunshine. Um, I'm in a much better mood today. Uh, yesterday, while that lady was doing the showing of the house, I took Maya and dry, drove to four of the houses that were the lowest in my price range. And I liked all four of them. I would probably move into all four of them. The first one was, it was in a tight space, but on the back side, there was a garage, a double garage. So like if you came, you could park your car in there too. And so the garage sat underneath the townhouse. And then the only way to get to the front is to go through this walkway. So, you know, that would keep people from like breaking in. And, um, cause it was really like in a curvy, tight, kind of cul-de-sac-y type of place. And it was really cute. I could see walking my over there. No yard really whatsoever. There's kind of a patio in the front that I could have put patio furniture. The only thing with that is I would have to take Maya out. But there was plenty of places to take her. So I was like, huh, that's a maybe. It was the cheapest one on my price range. <laughs> the next one was in the same area, kind of over by Cherry Creek, is where these ones were. And that one was on a corner lot. Same thing. The garage was on the back side. And in the front, there was a patio, you know, but it was on the end. So, and that one has vaulted ceilings. It has all kinds of stuff. That one was a little bit easier to get in and out of. So I liked that. But I was like, oh, that's a good one too. That one is serious. I would do that. And then I went closer to Denver. It's a little more south than Denver, but, and it's closer to my job. Oh my God. There was this one had a red fence the one that I showed you the garage wasn't attached it was a little bit off but that one like had a little walk up and it had you know the small yard you saw oh my god I'm in love with that one I loved the area I loved everything about it and I want it like right now um yeah I could totally see myself living there because I had a place where I could have a little bit of flowers Mike could have somewhere to go to the bathroom and I was like yes yes on that one and then right in the same area, for maybe about 15000 more, there was another one that had an amazing yard. And I'm like, oh my God, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So I got really excited. I was like, I'm so done. I'm so done. I don't want to take care of this yard. I want something like that, like those two. Um, maybe the other two, you know, um, because the real estate agent only got one person to come and look at the house. I blame her for that, though. She didn't even list the house till Friday and did an open house the next day. She didn't even advertise, you know, and she's not doing very well. And I told your father this, but I don't even care. I mean, he's the one that's going to be in worse circumstance than me if we get less money because he needs 20% down. He, on a $375,000 house, he needs about $75,000 or he's going to have to pay insurance. Me, I'm not going to have to, no matter what, because we're going to be both looking in the same price range. So, he's the one that's screwed. <coughs> Not me. <laughs> and so, I don't know. But I'm so ready to move. I'm done. I'm done with it. Last night, your father was texting me, you know, and I point out to, he was like, I told him that maybe it'd be better for him to just keep this house so he don't have to pay the insurance. And he could just slide his little Mexican women right in. And, um... He was like, no, I'll just be alone. And I'm like, no, last year you weren't alone. You were talking about 20 women. And during Thanksgiving, you talked to one. During Christmas, you met with one. He met her. And during Christmas, when I caught him, he was about to meet another one. And I'm like, oh. yeah, you know, you certainly... Shut up! <laughs> you won't be alone. You were meeting women while you are married. So, and he was like, well, every day when I wake up, you're like, did something happen to you? Okay, right there. There's something wrong with that. Every day I wake up in this room alone, and I have for 16 years, except when you were here. That's not right. You should wake up as a husband and wife together. He wakes up from behind a locked door. Like something is happening to him. Like, why are you doing that? And I know what it is. He's compartmentalizing his life because he's probably always cheated. And that's just what it is. He's put me on a shelf, and when he wants to go to a concert, he'll go with me. And then he goes back to his own little area. When he wants to go to a restaurant, he'll go with me. And then he'll go back, recluse back in his own little area. And I couldn't be more fucking happy to be rid of him. Because I would like a husband. 
I didn't get married to be given little breadcrumbs of love so that he could go give them to everybody else too. And you know what? Those women probably aren't satisfied either. Are you satisfied as his son? No, he doesn't give himself to anybody. So I'm excited. I want to get the fuck out of here. I want to get the fuck away from him. His reasoning, his logic does not make sense. I was a good wife. I was a good mother. And we could have had it all. Oh my God. The biggest complaint is this house needs too much work. Yeah, it needs new carpet. It needs new cupboards. It needs more updated cosmetic things. You know? As for the structure, the roof, the sewer, you know... The heating and air conditioning, that's all brand new. Those are the main components of the house. That's like the engine. That's like the computer, you know, <laughs> of the house. Um, those are all new. But if people are looking cosmetically, we are going to lose money. And your father's going to end up living in the fucking ghetto, not having a garage. And someone's going to steal his Tahoe. He's stupid. And I seem to, I just want to be done. I don't care anymore. And Maya, yesterday, oh my gosh. She was so nervous with all the driving. She was vibrating the car, having hot, stinky breath. And so my energy is all fucking hot. I had to sit in a car with her for over three and a half hours. And one time I went to Olympic Park and sat there with her in the car for a while. And another time I went on the back end over by those apartments that Jorge lived in and walked. And that confused her, walking backwards into it. And just, ugh. The two that I really wanted that had the yards that she could pee in, they're not around here at all. And oh my God, that area is way nice. Those ones are going to go really fast. And um, I can only hope. I When I saw it, I was like, I'm done. I want out. I want a new life. I want out of here. Yeah, I do. Ah, sorry, I had to drink my fiber. Um, oh God. Through this all, I've been sitting here like, is he really doing this? Is he really doing this? Yeah, he really did this. He really did all of it. He fucked everything up. He's not a good person. He's shown no moral standings. He's um, shown that he doesn't have any empathy. He doesn't care what he's done to me. He acts like something happened to him. And yes, I stand by that. Every day I ask him that because why the fuck are you coming out of a locked bedroom? You know? Why the fuck are you isolating yourself and running off and... You know, there's just lots of mental problems going on with that person. And I, I want nothing to do with it. Nothing. And, uh, yeah, I have been sitting here, like, I've been sitting in his life for 30 years now. Getting little crumbs of this, crumbs of that while he travels and runs off here and runs off there. And I work, I work. How many times was he really working? Or was he out with somebody else? You know? I've deserved so much better. And his cheating isn't even the worst of what he's done. He's assaulted me. You've seen him numerous, numerous times. Choking? You know, if a man chokes a woman, he will kill her. It's just done, done, done. And I'm glad. And Next week, that lady says she'll come back and do another showing. And she must really think this house stinks. Because she opened every single window and sprayed this stinky ass shit. That was like, oh. And, uh, I don't know. I might go buy some kind of spray myself because it stinks so bad. What she sprayed yesterday. I kept the windows open all night because it stunk so bad. I mean, yeah, it probably does smell like a dog in here, but who cares? Oh my God, I want to move. I'm so done. The Bible says that something in regards to don't talk to fools because it makes you look like a fool. And that's exactly what it is with that man hiding in the basement right now. You, there's no reasoning with him. There's none. He's normalized this. And why is he normalized this? Because his mother did it. He's his mother. There's this movie called Psycho where there's this guy, Norman Bates, who was really close with his mother and used to try on her dresses and act like she was alive. I think your da dad's the Chicano Norman Bates, a psychopath. I really do. And I don't care anymore. I just want out. I'm so excited. I'll be more than fine. Even if we did have to drop the price of this house, I don't care. Um, if I don't have a yard, whatever. I just, I'm getting out of here. I'm not going to stay here no more. I don't want that freak driving by. I don't want him thinking we're going to get back together. No, once I break free, I'm done. For the hell he has put me through. I've had to change my name. I've had to change my social security number. 
I've had to change my name with all my credentialing sites, with pharmacy, with health information. I've had to change titles of vehicle. I've had to go through hell, all while trying to establish myself in a good job. And I don't even have that right now. You know, I'm not happy where I'm at. I'm dealing with a Middle Eastern fucking man that for generations, for fucking centuries, they have ruled women. And I'm expecting him to act like an American. It's not gonna happen. He's expecting me to act like I'm a woman from the Middle East. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> and we can't communicate. Like tomorrow, we're starting this new computer system. I come in before him because I can't fucking stand him. And he's let me get away with it. At first he said no, but I think he's realized just leave me the fuck alone. So I come in about an hour and a half, two hours before him. I'm going to be the first one to get my fucking hands on that system. And he's been playing ping pong. <laughs> he hasn't tried to do anything. And he was making my life hell last week. To where I couldn't even take some time and try to figure it out. So I don't care. I haven't had time. So whatever. Um, yeah. So tomorrow I'm going to fiddle with it. See what I could do. And he's going to have to help me. And uh, I'll probably do a couple test things. But nobody's shown me anything. I have over three, four hundred accounts. I have more accounts than anybody in that fucking place. <laughs> I do. And you know whose job is most important? Mine. I make the most money for anybody in that fucking place. They make millions. But I'm the one who gets approval for those millions. So they damn well might want to trade me. I don't know. There's this other chick who handles other accounts. But she only handles about 75 because they're a little bit more detailed. And they'd rather have things faxed into them and... They process things a little bit differently. They're different insurance companies. Mine has a portal that they go directly into, and it's just a little bit different. So, and a lot of mine don't require all the paperwork is the thing. Like, half of mine do, because it's just confusing. <laughs> but yesterday, I was so excited. It was really hard driving around with that dog, because you know how she gets. And, I mean, I was zigzagging all over the place, because I didn't start, you know in order of closest to the next closest to the next closest, I started out in order of price. Cause I'm like, realistically, let's start at the bottom, the cheapest one. That one, I didn't like how swervy and tight it was to get in there. But again, that would keep people from robbing me. Um, and I didn't like that it didn't have a patio. The next one, the one that's on the tail end of the division, that one's more doable, but again, it didn't have a patio. It had a patio, but like cement. Both of them had like cement patios, nowhere from my to pee. And that's going to bother me. The other two do. And, oh gosh, I just want to go. I just want to be done with this. You don't know how many times I've had nonsensical fucking conversations about your father about choking people, which he's never apologized about, you know, running off when he gets upset, never speak, no communication. Just nonsense and I'm just done I won't be alone forever either no but I just went out of this I'm so ready yeah so I'm gonna sell I'm gonna leave and I <coughs> at this point even if that guy was to start feeling bad for all the fucking damage he's caused I don't even care. It's over, dude. I just want to go. I am so fucking done. And my fear is that weather's going to change. I mean, yesterday was about 80 degrees. We're having one of those Indian summers where it's super fucking hot. Um, even right now, it's getting a little dark out there. She was going to do an open house today, but then she remembered that uh, there was a Broncos game. And I told her dad, just tell her to cancel it. I don't even fucking like her. But whatever. I hope they don't lower this house too much, but I am done with Villanova. I'm done. I, for a damn, I do agree with those people. It does need too much, too many cosmetic, which means like makeup, things to make it look pretty. Yeah. And I know with me making half of what your father makes, I'm never going to fucking be able to do it. I started out living here on this price. I, I, I on the, that income, I know I can't. Mm -mm. I'm not doing it. Ooh, I 
might even drive you today to go see those two houses. Um, the one that's more expensive has a detached garage, but that one has even a bigger yard area for Maya. So, oh God. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I want out. There's no hope. There never has been any hope. It's gonna be hard just sitting here, especially, I don't even care about the holidays. I just want out, I just want out. Somebody will want this though, because even those houses aren't perfect. Um, the one that I really love with the red fence, that was built in 1976, that was the year I was born. It's about as old as this. I mean, I'm sure there will be imperfections there too. And I don't like that the garage isn't attached to either one of the ones I really want. But who cares? I mean, the big thing with me wanting a garage is not to have to scrape windows and somewhere to store shit and <clears throat> just because I don't want no one breaking into my vehicle. I mean, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky that I'm going to get out of this situation. There is nothing you could do with somebody who isn't in touch with reality that like tries to normalize abnormal behavior. It's just there's nothing. I can't work with it. I've tried for years. And you guys had to have... I mean, maybe you didn't think anything of it. Cause of your father sleeping in a different room? Why? It's just because he wants control over when he... what How he rations out his time with people. I think he's done this for years. When he traveled, I think that he was single whenever he was by himself. I most certainly fucking do. He was in Alaska from 2013 and 2014 for a couple months each summer. Do you think he was married? I don't. In El Paso, he was there for two years. I told him he should file taxes down there. He spent weeks at a time down there going to the same exact same place. Do you think he was single with all those Mexican women down there? I don't. There were Mexican women on, his, um, on the phone record. There were some in New Mexico. And... You know, I know El Paso's in Texas, but there were a number, a number he kept calling. I didn't even fucking bother because it was, it wasn't as frequent as all the other ones. God, I want to move. I wish, I wish that they would, someone would just come by it today. So I could just be like, bye. <laughs> yeah. All the fear I was feeling about leaving, gone. All the fear about not having a husband, gone. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, honestly, when we first moved here, there was this yellow mustard paint in the basement. I primered, cause you have to primer, you know, to cover up old paint. I primered twice and I painted twice. That entire room, it took me like a fucking week while you guys were at school. I was sweating so bad, I was tired every single day, but it was so fucking ugly. We had blue carpet down there. I'm the one that called and got someone to come and recarpet it. I've handled everything, our entire fucking relationship. He's been more like a child. Your father is like a child. And, you know, then these bedrooms up here, you started out in the small one. That was purple and pink, so I painted that too. Um, no, actually, your fa that's one room your father did paint because I painted the bathroom. The, the bathroom... Um, I don't remember. I think it was a purple and pink too. It was just really ugly. And so I painted that, too. And the one your sister was in, we didn't paint that one. But then the living room right here, it had wallpaper. So I didn't even look for a job right away. I just came here and started gutting this house out of things I couldn't stand. They had these 80s fucking light switch things on the wall in that room, in the living room. I took those off, and that's why I ended up having to paint because they had big holes on the wall. And there was this ugly fucking 80s wallpaper Oh God, wallpaper is so hard to take off. But I did all that. And, you know, I'm the one that mowed. I'm the one that um, watered the grass. Your father's never watered this grass one fucking time in 16 years. Not once. And it's been all me. The shoveling. Do you think your sister was doing that when we first moved here? Yes, she was. No, she was. She actually had to miss school. That's why I know I can't do this by myself. Because when we've had some really big snowstorms... She just helped me because she knew I couldn't get out if she didn't help me. And uh, 
because your father always traveled. Well, in the beginning, he didn't travel. He just didn't shovel. That's what it was. Even when you were a baby, your father would like walk out the door, not pick up the shovel one time, and he would walk to his vehicle and go to work. I would leave you as a baby in the house, go out and shovel, you know, before I even brought your car seat to take your sister to school. He never thinks of nobody. It's been so fucking frustrating being with somebody that I put on a pedestal that only worried about his career. He didn't parent. He didn't fucking husband. He didn't home own with me. I did everything. <laughs> so I have to remind myself of that. There were things that came up that, sure, he took care of, like, this room. He did switch out. I mean, things that really did need to be done. And, yes, yeah, some things that did need to be done. He's done it. But fuck it. I'll get a credit card and pay someone. That's what I'll do. And I got a son that has some money, too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'll take care of everything myself. I'll be fine. I will. Oh, my God. I don't want to do this no more. I'm done with Villanova. It finally happened. I could see myself being by myself no and then I could see myself continuing meal prepping even though that lady was coming um yesterday I still was laying out my meals because have you seen I don't know what it's like where you're at but like going to McDonald's or going anywhere is like 10 fucking dollars now I remember when I used to spend like here's the kitchen I'm remember when I used to spend like 20 dollars on family meal and that's soda and all so fucking annoying. I don't spend that. I um, I made some pork chops, bagged up some green beans, made four meals for how much? I got the pork chops on clearance for four dollars. Green beans, um, I got a can, so that so that's a can of green beans, can of cream of corn. That's two, three, so about five, six fucking dollars. I made four meals. You know, I've been doing that for over a year now. While your father was talking to all those women, I was making him three meals a day, and he was running out the door, probably going to see them. Because he's a sick motherfucker. Now, yesterday I didn't give you that good of a tour of the house. I'm tired of looking at it. You know what it looks like. You saw it online. You lived here. You don't need to see it. Oh, I'm probably sick of seeing me fucking talk. You know what? That was your dad's biggest thing. He's like, oh, you're always asking me, did something happen? Talking? So me talking is why I've been choked um, hundreds of times. Me talking is why he's cheating. Talking. Talking. Well, let's see if he finds another woman who don't talk. He wants a doormat, I guess, that don't talk. But you know what? When I talk, he, he liked it when I talked to buy this house. He liked it when I talked to do everything in our fucking life because I'm the only one that talked. He just sat there staring. Fucking tired of it. Oh my God, see you need to get your mom some money and fix my neck right here. <laughs> There's this um, radio frequency treatment they could do. That'll fix all that up. My beautiful home. <sighs> see, I mean, if I take this house right now, I'm gonna barely be able to live here just like I did 16 years ago and not be able to fucking get new carpet, get all the things that we could have did right now. Because he finally got enough money. He's an idiot. Oh, my beautiful yard. We're gonna show, I guess I will show you. You already know, though. You can't tell me, oh, this house needs so much. You know what? If you're only looking at covers and new refrigerators and, you know, new shit. But you're missing the point of this house. Yeah, it needs a new shed, too. But this house has so much. New fence. See, it's getting cold and windy out here. Oh, the years, I remember you playing with your cars right there. Being in the pool right there. Just everything. But I'm not sad no more. I'm happy to be getting rid of somebody who's manipulative, who's lying, who's a cheater, who abuses. I'm just tired of it. I want to be done. And I mean, being in a cul-de-sac too, that prevents your home from being robbed. And you know, the yard isn't 
too, too big if you have more than one person, especially a, more than a woman to maintain it. It's a, I know it's nice. That flower bed comes up every year. Something I didn't add to the house, but the new garage door, you know, there are things that this house has. But uh, I'm over it. I'm done. I want to move on. The double car garage, all that storage in the garage. Yeah, I know what this house is. And a lot of people will try to say when they're buying a house or a car, oh, there's, I don't know, there's things wrong with it, just to knock the price down. You could have tried to knock the price down on the car you found too, but you got a good deal. So I don't know if I'd knock that down. <laughs> Especially because it has, I mean, it's a 2003. It has a, the rear view camera. You get a three month warranty. Um, I don't know if there's something that, maybe you should ask for your warranty and contract in English. See if they could provide that for you. Because even in the medical field, if someone speaks Spanish, that's mostly what they speak. We can print them, print it out in Spanish so that they understand the terms that they're signing. That's one thing I would suggest to you. This room, remember the first play, time you played Grand Theft Auto, right there. Yep. <laughs> and you didn't move for like years. You were so in love with that game. And that tree house, you know. It just needs a nice coat of paint, and that's a nice little area. You know it is, so do I. And here, I mostly think of Christina. Even though your father has been in every room but the master bedroom. I mostly think of her. And here she has doll there, doll there. Um, I spent two nights ago scrubbing all this sticky stuff. She used to have these little sticky gel things that were cute on the window and I never cleaned them off. Or she never cleaned them off either. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I wanna go. <sighs> At least I'm excited now. Cause I have been feeling depressed. Like, you know, I didn't want my marriage to end this way. I wanted my marriage. No, I don't want it at all. <laughs> After seeing the life I could get as a single person, woo! I'm going to be very selective, too, about who I date. And I'm not going to be a 304, a hoe. <laughs> uh, um, but I am going to love it. I want out of this. I can't wait. Oh, I got to go through this way. Um, I know you're probably bored of my videos by now. I don't care the fuck you got to do sometimes you probably just stand in those airport hangers and don't do shit <laughs> as for me uh no i i i don't ever get a break that's why i didn't get a chance to even look at their new computer system for one reason because that fucking tyrant wasn't letting me do shit on the computer and so i got hung up on this one problem for like three four fucking hours which that time could have been spent for me trying to learn the new system i just didn't have time so I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it at my pace and they could kiss my ass if shit don't get done. I don't like how my job training has went at all. Mostly that tyrant, he hid when I first started because he knew he couldn't articulate what I needed to do. And once I started catching on a little bit, he tried to get in. And then once I really started catching on and cleaning shit up, then he just started picking everything apart that I was doing. And there's even shit that... I'm barely finding out now and I have to just do it wrong and then articulate it to him what happened and then he'll tell me the right way to do it. <sighs> That's how my last job was too. Fucking stupid. There's so many people in management that just should not be there. That's funny because I have a degree in management and I think damn well I'd be a good one. But I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time. And, ooh, that's a cool breeze coming from outside. <laughs> Throw some pants on. I'm going to go get a massage. 
And I gotta go walk that dog because she's gonna be going nuts. Her walk yesterday, if I walk her again, I can't take her backwards through Olympic Park because it confused her. She was like, no, we go this way. <laughs> Thought that was hell. Um, I hope somebody buys this house. I just, I'm done. I wanna pack up, I wanna leave. I don't care how cold it is. I'm gonna get out as soon as somebody buys this. Bye. I'll find somewhere to go. I'll find somewhere. New houses pop up all the time, and yeah. My time will come. I'm trying to be patient, but you know, I've been dealing with somebody locking themselves in a room. Like literally, when we first moved here, he would barricade himself, push things in front of the door. And in Cheyenne, what it was, he would run off for the night, and I'd be passed out by the time he got home. He's always had to do something sneaky and slick on, on the side and then smile the next day and act like nothing happened. He loves to fuck people over and get away with it. And if you think he's been this admirable fucking person, no, he hasn't. A lot of the times when he run, he would even run out the door here sometimes too. He would assault me and then run out the door. Go do something bad, probably go cheat or go do drugs or something. I don't think he does that anymore because he gets drug tested um, every fall for his job. But he probably replaced it with going out with women real quick. Just to go get high off women. That's exactly what I think. Because he sure as fuck ain't getting high off me. He's kept me here locked up in this room like a pet. Ugh. Sorry my energy's hot. I just... You know, I drove around with Maya for 3-4 hours yesterday. It was very difficult. And... I just want this to be over with. I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. I've got a lot of shit going on. And, yeah. But I hope you have a happy, ooh, it's probably Monday for you. It's late Sunday night or Monday by the time you'll see this. So, enjoy yourself. You know, my morning drives are always happier than this. But today I'm just feeling kind of antsy because I'm like, is someone going to come see it? Buy it, buy it, buy it. Get me out of here. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye.